Police and firefighters are still here. Cleanup crews gathered around the house and National Grid doing some work. But the real hero here was that little girl, Victoria Piero. And her mother tells us she has been learning about fire safety her entire life since her father's a firefighter. Well, today it made the life saving difference. You know, when you see your kids, give them a big, great big hug. Which is exactly what Lori Piero says she gave her six year old daughter Victoria after she says the little girl woke her up just before 5 a.m. and just in the nick of time. I just saw the glow in the kitchen and just grabbed her. We ran upstairs, got my sons and my husband and just ran and screamed fire, fire, fire. By then the alarms were sounding. Her father, a firefighter himself who had been asleep, ran out to find the brave little girl's room was engulfed. We ran out with whatever we had, which was our pajamas, uh, no shoes. So just whatever we had. So everything is gone, Christmas presents that we brought, everything. Investigators say it started in the garage. They're leaning toward the theory it was electrical. It's still unusual in this congested neighborhood for a fire to get that much headway, so you know, everybody's interested in finding out. Fellow firefighters are rallying around this one of their own, collecting donations, hugs, and Victoria, her mom, is calling her something else. She's our hero. Well, fellow firefighters have have set up a fund to help the Piero family that through the local firefighters union. You know, Lori Piero says she has seen how the community rallies around families in need through her husband's work. And now she reluctantly but thankfully sees what it's like to be on the receiving end of that. In Swampscott, Christina Hager, WBC News.